So before this video starts, I quickly want to tell you all that this is just for educational and legit checking purposes. I do not encourage anyone to buy replica items and all the links that are shown in this video or given down below in the description are strictly for education. And now let's get straight into the video. Yo, what's up you guys, welcome back to another video and today we will be unboxing and reviewing some Rick Owens Ramones from Porsche Kicks. By the way, I'm a bit sick right now, so please don't judge my voice and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I would say let's get straight into the unboxing slash review part and talk about the seller, sizing, stuff like that later in the video. By the way, short disclaimer, I'm not that good at QCing Ricks. I'll just point out some obvious flaws that I was able to notice. So yeah, this is a Rick Owens mainline box, I think. I'm not sure how good it looks, but but I would say let's get into these shoes and don't waste time with the box. So when we open up the box, we are greeted with this like Rick Owens bag. Here it says some stuff about the pair. I don't know how important that is. I just noticed this Rick Owens card at the bottom of the box. Yeah, it says a bunch of stuff right here. I don't know what it exactly says, but yeah, this is also included. And now let's get into the shoes. By the way, we also get some extra cream laces. The shoes are wrapped in these kind of bags, I don't know. These are looking clean. So we do kind of have a small problem here. I'm not sure if this pair exists like this as a retail pair and I'll explain to you why I think that. So with Rick Owens you have mainline rigs and dark shadow rigs and mainline rigs tend to have 7 lace holes while dark shadow ones have 8 lace holes. The ones I got have 8 lace holes so you would assume that they are a dark shadow pair but mainline rigs do have the mainline Rick Owens branding on the outsole and dark shadow ones have the dark shadow branding on the outsole and my pair is like kind of mixed up. It has the mainline branding but it has a dark shadow upper which is kind of weird but I found a pair on Grailed which looks the exact same. Yeah, I'm not sure if these really exist or not. Uh, if someone knows way more about Ricks than I do, you can comment down below. I mean, I did find the Grailed pair and of course they could also be pulled off as soul swapped or something. But I'm not sure if this pair exists exactly like this as a retail one and now let's go on with the video so yeah comparing them to the grailed listing these look pretty good actually the toe box seems pretty good um the sole is correct as well as the outsole branding which is a typical mainline sole then we have the zipper right here and here is this like printed note this is the size i think i don't know if this is correct but at least real pairs also have text on here the placement of the holes right here looks pretty good actually on the inside tag it has the dark shadow logo i think this is so again this is kind of confusing i'm not sure if this is supposed to be right here if any of you guys know more about rigs than i do leave a comment down below here we have the other shoe this has some kind of rick owen zip tie right here i don't know if it's supposed to have that but i assume so as you all can see the branding actually says rick owens and not rric always like some budget badges do I forgot to mention this in the original video, but it also says Rick Owens on the insole right here. I would say I'ma try them on, then we're gonna watch some on -foot clips and then I'll talk about sizing since it's kind of weird with those. So yeah, as far as sizing goes, I would recommend you guys to go with your true to size or even size down half a size. 
For reference, I usually wear a size 43 or 44 in Jordans and stuff like that. And I chose a 43 and they're still pretty big. They still fit, so if you're scared they won't fit. Just go with your normal size and if you prefer a kind of snug fit, then definitely size down half a size. So yeah, I hope you now know a bit more about a pair like this. Um, I really like them. I think they're easy to style, but they also go for a lot of money. So definitely be careful when trying to purchase a legit pair. Yeah, shipping for these took around seven days, which is crazy. And the box is in like perfect condition, to be honest. So a damaged box is definitely not a good legit checking indicator. Now that's gonna be it for the video. If you've somewhat liked the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more. And if you have any questions, wanna suggest something, whatever you feel like doing, feel free to leave a comment down below. That's it for my part. Have a great day.